So I'm Alan Skillcorn from the 66th District. Uh, there is a difference between myself and my uh, gentleman with me. I live in far north uh, eastern Illinois where the other gentlemen live in central and southern Illinois. And I've only been here three years. But I've been talking about transformative structural reforms since I arrived here. There is a giant elephant in this room. And that elephant is the one thing that President Donald J. Trump can agree with the congressional Democrats with. And that is the need for an infrastructure plan. Now, he has proposed a $2 trillion infrastructure plan. Simple mathematics tells me that Illinois could be uh, on the receiving end of $400 billion because of this infrastructure program. Frankly, we have the sixth largest state and we have the fifth largest GDP in the nation. I think we should get something bigger than that. Frankly, I think we should put pressure on our congressional delegation to get that done for us. What we shouldn't be doing <coughs> excuse me, is rushing into a $40 billion tax hike, taking money out of our economy, taking money out of people's pockets, taking money out of the middle class, and throwing it in to special interests that just want to pad their wallets. This is something that we should move forward with. And I will, I will note, Governor Pritzker, he is on the record of being anti-Trump. Mm -hmm. Senator Sandoval, chairman of the uh, Transportation Committee, anti-Trump. The minority chairman in the Senate Transportation Co Committee is a never-Trumper. Ladies and gentlemen, this $40 billion tax hike is anti-Donald J. Trump. No Republican should support this. No Republican should be for doubling the gas tax, should be additional fees, and adding all these taxes. And I repeat that. No Republican should be on this bill. This is uh, regressive, and this is anti the people of Illinois. You know, yesterday we just debated a graduated tax hike, okay? And one of the talking points was is that uh, it was only going to tax the rich. Well, gas tax taxes the poor. It's very regressive. The gentlemen around me, their counties will suffer. They are in commuter counties. They are commuting back and forth to work long distances. The people who r ride mass transit, the people who have short commutes, they aren't going to feel the pinch of this tax hike. But the people who live in bedroom community, uh, communities that commute to work are going to feel this tax hike, and it's significant. Uh, so I want to reiterate that this tax hike and this infrastructure plan is simply an anti-Trump move. It is, would behoove our state and our leadership to wait on that infrastructure plan. Let's, let's just compare it. A $40 billion tax hike here in Illinois to sell the bonds for this infrastructure plan, right? Takes money out of our economy, takes money out of the working class, takes money out of our constituents' pockets. Where if the federal government comes in with this, it could be a $400 billion windfall. If we move forward to this now, how can we go to Washington, D.C. and say, we absolutely need every dollar we can? Because we can't say that, because we moved ahead without them. So this is a situation where we need teamwork. We need to call on our congressional delegation to do their jobs and deliver the resources that we need. And infrastructure is important, people. You know, without infrastructure, how do we uh, get beyond this current uh, quagmire we're in? Without infrastructure, how do we do the economic development? We need to get products to market. We have, we have great resources here in Illinois. We have fabulous farms. We've got the Mississippi River. We've got the railroads. We've got I-80 running through our state. We have so many things working for us. Let's be patient. Let's pump the brakes and call on our congressional delegation to bring home some of this infrastructure money instead of us charging ahead anti-Trump, anti-Washington, D.C., anti-infrastructure.